we're talking with uh, Mario Schlenner from Navigant Capital Market Advisors, and today we're going to talk about CVAs. So, I mean, what, what are some of the typical objectives for implementing a transactional credit value adjustment in, into the day-to-day -day risk environment? I think there are two main streams you need to think of. One is um, a regulatory-driven um, objective, and the other one is like a business-driven objective. Um, from a business perspective, I think it's much more complicated in terms of um, getting it introduced into the daily business because it's a complete change in a daily trading business. So you need to change the uh, behavior of a sales department and a trading department to give away profit and to pay somebody internally, somebody else like a CVA desk. Um, from a regulatory perspective, I think it's, it's traditionally everybody needs to do it now as well, especially here in Germany. Um, you know, the regulator, Basel 3, CRD 3, and 4 actually force banks to calculate CVA charge, um, which is, you know, right now everybody needs to think about it and implement it in a different way. So either you do it as a front office driven perspective, like a CVA desk, or you do it back office driven, like from a risk management, more assurance approach perspective. I mean, so what kind of value can a firm expect from imp implementing CVA? I think there's two values. One is um, you get a better understanding of what your credit risk is in terms of counterparty credit risk. Um, you get a much better understanding of what kind of risk drivers in your portfolio um, you, you have currently um, in your exposure. Um, you actually treat people to think about more thoroughly um, what you actually take as a next step with whom you make business and how you make business with somebody and what kind of economic value the next business gives you. Um, I think that's very, very, um, from a risk governance perspective, it's a, a positive effect. Um, and also from a regulatory perspective, I think it keeps you know, banks more safe in terms of when they do business and they look what they can do. And I think the value is at the end of the day, you're more profitable and um, the risk return profile should increase if everybody does it right. Mm -hmm. I mean, can implementing CVA have any influence over a bank's overall risk culture? Um, I think the question should be, you know, can be different. That is like, you know, where is no influence? So I think it's complete influence and I, it changes the complete risk governance and structure. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Adrian. Thanks a lot.